Howdy YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new video for you. As the title says, this is going to be my CD finds for the month of July 2023. I uh, hope you're all doing well, enjoying yourself, enjoying some great music. So July was uh, summertime, we went on vacation. I did pick up a few CDs while I was on vacation, so I have some, some pickups from different states. Uh, the first ones here are from uh, the second in Charles in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, it was kind of a funny, funny story. We were uh, spending the night in Dothan. We, we went up into the panhandle of Florida and did some state parks there that I wanted to visit. Um, and then we were on our way up to Plains, Georgia. But I had set up a place sort of in between uh, because I knew, you know, sort of timed it out, spaced it out to where our driving was, was a couple hours of driving a day and then visiting some different attractions. And uh, just happened to stay in Dothan, Alabama. And... You know, when we got there, got into the hotel, got settled in, decided to find a place to eat. And to my surprise, there was a, uh, I'm a big fan of the fast food Italian restaurant Fazoli's. They left my hometown here probably about 15 years ago now, at least, uh, probably close to it. And, you know, I missed it ever since. It's just a fun, fun sort of thing to, to go to go to Fazoli's for me. So, uh, but I was surprised when we were looking for places to eat that, in Dothan, Alabama, there's a Fazoli's, and so while we were at Fazoli's, I just uh, I just uh, decided to do a little more digging on my phone and see what was in the area. Just curious, you know, what was around, and uh, I happened to notice that there was a second in Charles, like a quarter mile away from where the Fazoli's was. Maybe uh, I was like, "Wow, okay, that's a, that's a surprise. I didn't I didn't even realize that there was a second in Charles in Dothan. Um, I had planned there's a second in Charles in." Um, in Columbus, Georgia, which I planned to go to because I knew we were going to go buy it. So I was like, well, well, we'll, we'll make plans to go to that one. But actually ended up hitting two second and Charles while we're, while we're on vacation. So these are ones from Dothan, Alabama. Uh, the first one we got here is Cindy Lauper's She's So Unusual. This is a deluxe edition with some bonus tracks on it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I do already have this on vinyl and I do have, a, you know, just a normal CD version of it. But I saw this this uh, deluxe edition, I thought, yeah, I'd like to have the deluxe edition of that. That'd be pretty cool to have. So pick that one up. Um, we got the Bravery, Stir the Blood. I used to have the Bravery, a couple Bravery albums on vinyl, but I've sold them since. Uh, the values on them just got gotten to a point where I don't really need to have them on vinyl. Uh, but yeah, so pick, filled in that with the with the CD there. Um, got a couple clearances one, clearance ones here. This is Sting, Songs from the Labyrinth. Music by John Dowland and performed by Sting and Eden Kam Kamzov. Got Suckers with Wild Smile. I just had a cool looking cover. Got uh, Tired Pony with the, the Place the place We Ran From. This is like a folk rock kind of group. Uh, we got Thornley with Come Again. This is an alt rock group. Added one more to the Ani DeFranco collection. This is um, on Ani DeFranco's Knuckle Down. Has a uh, comes in a sort of a slip cover. Pretty neat. Uh, so those were from the second and Charles. Um, and then also in that same area, there was a place. There was a big thrift store there called America's Thrift. It was this really giant store. It was open late. It was it was a surprise. I think they were open until nine o'clock at night. And the second and Charles closed at eight, so we went over to the America's Thrift afterwards, and I picked up a few CDs while I was there. I think these were supposed to be, I think these were supposed to be like a dollar fifty or two dollars a piece, but I think they only charged me for one CD, so I only paid like twenty cents basically for these. Um, we got uh, Lincoln Brewster with Amazed. This is a Christian pop artist. Uh, we got Brit Nicole, self-titled. Uh, Another pop artist, uh, Norman Brown, West Coast Cool and Jazz, R&B and Soul. Uh, we've got some pop punk here from Story of the Year. This one's called uh, In the Wake of Determination. And then a bit of hard rock here. This is Future Leaders of the World with Level, level 4. Thought I'd give it a shot. Um, and then I think this is the last one from America's Thrift here. Uh, we got um, Iced Earth with Alive in Athens. Some Iced Earth. 
All right, these next few are from a Goodwill in Cornelia, Georgia. We are on our way up to Tallulah Gorge and uh, stopped in this town uh, to get some gas and it was raining. So I was trying to kill some time because I, was, I knew it was going to stop raining at some point. So we stopped in at a Goodwill there. Um, so I got uh, Alkaline Trios Crimson. Uh, and these were two fifty-two a piece, uh, odd price, but that was what it was at that Goodwill. They were, yeah, they they had a lot of CDs and they weren't selling too many because of the price. But um, you got the Art of Noise, the Ambient Collection. This was on a, a gold CD, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the best of the Art of Noise. That's just on a regular silver CD. Okay, this next stack are from a Goodwill here in town. <laughs> didn't didn't just buy CDs on the road in, in July. Bought some here in, in town. Um, Reba McIntyre's Feel the Fire. Nice Reba there. Uh, Foster the People with Torches. This was the one with Pumped Up Kicks on it. I uh, got Justin Bieber's Purpose. Uh, Capital Kings, Self-Titled. I got the, the Alligator Records Christmas Collection, so some nice blues Christmas songs there. That'll be a fun one coming up in the Christmas season. Uh, Starships Knee Deep in the Hoopla. Uh, Paul McCartney's All the Best, so I guess a greatest hits of solo stuff there. This was a good one. Uh, Tangerine Dreams, Tyranny of Beauty. Find some Tangerine Dream. Uh, Roseanne Cash's Super Hits. And Dan Fogelberg's Greatest Hits. All right, this next stack is from a thrift store that I don't visit too often. They don't have tend to have too much of a turnover, and they don't really do much in the way of media, but they occasionally find some good things in there. It's called Attic Resale. Uh, the, we got first one here. We got Mark Knopfler's Golden Heart. Uh, this is one of those Starbucks compilations, Across the Pond, uh, the UK's Best and Brightest. Um, Bunch of artists on here, Joss Stone, James Blunt, Damien Rice, a bunch of other artists don't know too well, so that'll be a fun one to spin one day. Uh, Tanya Tucker's Complicated. Uh, Van Morrison, The Healing Game. Uh, Tom Cochran's Mad Mad World, classic one from the 80s there. Uh, the Rembrandt's LP. Uh, Charles Mingus, Mingus Ah Um. These uh, reissues, got some bonus tracks on it. Nice remastering there. Uh, Gomez, How We Operate. I picked up a Gomez album on vinyl a long time ago and enjoyed it, so I picked that one up. Uh, this group kind of looks like a local group called Berto. Um, just had a had an interesting look to it. Thought I'd give that a shot. Uh, Carol King's Tapestry Deluxe Edition with some bonus tracks on it. Uh, Grand Funk Railroad Collector's Edition. Uh, the Outlaw David Allen Co. Uh, Cheryl Crow's Home for Christmas. Uh, Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band, Night Moves. And Jennifer Lopez, Como Ama Mujer. Um, and then this is just a single CD I picked up at Wuxtry Records in Athens, Georgia while we were there. This was in the, the free area, I guess, where the people put zines and flyers and all kinds of stuff. And occasionally people put... Uh, like demos and stuff on there. So this is Choir 9 with Church on Fire. Apparently this is a, uh, a soundtrack. So that was, a, that was a freebie picked up in Athens. Okay, this next stack are from the second and Charles here in Gainesville. Uh, first one here we've got is uh, David Burns, Grown Backwards. Uh, Kylie Minogue, Kylie X, uh, Salt and Peppa's Brand New. Uh, Funk Star Deluxe, keep moving in here. Uh, Janet Jackson, Discipline. I was on clearance for a dollar. And Janet Jackson, Unbreakable. That was on clearance for three dollars. 
And then the final season soundtrack to the uh, U.S. version of Queer as Folk. Nice compilation there of stuff from that show. All right, these next few are from a thrift store in Ocala called Brothers Keeper. Uh, we go down there maybe once a month about. Um, first one we got here is the, the Very Best of Cher. Nice, nice uh, compilation there with a slip cover. I like the cover on that, so pick that one up. Um, Any Lennox Medusa, copy of that. And the soundtrack to the movie Robots. All right, and these next two are from uh, Goodwill here in town on another visit. Uh, we got Sesame Street Platinum, all time favorites. So there's a lot of cool Sesame Street stuff on there. Wanted to have that. And then got a copy of Primus, the Brown album in this gold jewel case, which is kind of cool. Hadn't seen, hadn't seen that before, so wanted to pick that one up. Uh, and then a couple here from the Hospice Attic. Uh, first one we got here is uh, Maroon 5 with It Won't Be Soon Before Long. And we got the, the Bangles with All Over the Place. Uh, did have a few new purchases for the month of July. First thing I got here is the, uh, the Amazon exclusive Barbie soundtrack uh, to the movie. Comes with a poster inside. I'll show you the poster. Um, there's the... There's the CD soundtrack. Uh, think that I think this is pretty much normal how it, how you see it elsewhere. But as I said, this is Amazon version comes with an exclusive poster, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, so there is the there's the poster, uh, and then this this next one was inspired by a uh, an Amoeba Records "What's in My Bag" episode. These guys, this group did a did a "What's in My Bag," and I really enjoyed their picks. I'd never heard their music before, but it's a really interesting kind of modern take on jazz, and it's got like hip hop elements and alt rock kind of elements to it. Dom and JD Beck with Not Tight. Oh, so check them out. That's a cool group. Um, really, and I was glad to discover them through the What's in My Bag series. Uh, and then I also bought the new uh, Greta Fan Fleet album on CD, Starcatcher. So those are my new new purchases for the month. All right, so this next stack are from the second and Charles in Columbus, Georgia that I mentioned that we had planned to go to to begin with. Uh, first one here is um, David Arkenstone in the wake of the wind. Had kind of a new agey kind of vibe to it. Looked, pretty, looked like it could be something pretty interesting that was on clearance for a dollar. Uh, Arrested Development since the last time. You don't see that one very often. I thought that was a neat, neat one to find. Um, added another one to the uh, Another one to the dual disc collection. This is Poet Mame with Life. Um, yeah, not sure, but that one's still sealed and it's a dual disc, so it's going in the dual disc collection. Do you pick those up when I see them? Uh, we got Boondocks with Abaddon. Some hardcore hip hop. I'm always on the lookout for hip hop, and that looked like something pretty neat. I uh, got. Faith Hill's Cry. We've got Texas, The Greatest Hits. Texas, Southside. I got the Dick Tracy soundtrack that was on clearance for a dollar. Uh, no Doubts, Push and Shove. I hadn't seen that one before. That was a neat one to find. Another one for the dual disc collection. This is uh, Ben Fold sings songs for Silverman. So picked up a couple dual discs on that trip. Uh, got a copy of Kate Bush's Ariel. Uh, yeah, really cool. That was a, that's a good. That's a really good Kate Bush album. Glad to have found that one. Uh, the Flaming Lips Egg. So this has got a in a pretty different ambulance and the. Uh, and a pretty different ambulance and then demos and outtakes so kind of a early days of the band kind of thing thought that was a pretty neat find i hadn't seen that before and picked up greta fan fleet's first album didn't have that one so wanted to pick that one up and another one for the dual disc collection this is um, in excess with switch the guess who with american woman and this is a deluxe edition i believe yeah bonus track on this one as well so really good album from them i do have that on vinyl of course but wanted to have the cd with the deluxe edition that's pretty cool 
All right, and then this last stack are all from the Humane Society here in town. Uh, we got Warren Zevon with Excitable Boy. I love Warren Zevon, and that's an excellent album. Glad to have that on, on a CD. I do have it on vinyl as well. Uh, we got Drake's Nothing Was the Same. And we got Nico Case, The Worst, who is it? The Worst Things Get, The Harder I Fight, Better, The More I Love You. Long, long title. That's a Nico Case. Uh, we got Ozzy Osbourne, Live and Loud, two CD set. Uh, another one from Texas here, White on Blonde. Picked up a bunch of Texas this month. Uh, Jane Seabury, self-titled. Uh, got This is a kind of a funny one. Got a copy of The Very Best of Kiss. I have thus far avoided Kiss, and I'm one of those people that dislikes Kiss without actually listening to them, so I'm going to force myself to listen to some Kiss and check it out. So... Maybe, maybe I'll learn to like Kiss, but it's just off-putting the way the band is done. Um, uh, this one is one I do already have on CD, but this is a, uh, this is a super audio CD version of it, uh, Come Dancing with the Kinks. I just recently listened to the CD version of this, but uh, yeah, I found a, found a super audio CD of it for you know, 50 cents. So I said, yeah, I'm going to get that for sure. Upgrade that one. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, The Wild Innocent, The E Street Shuffle. Classic album by Bruce. Uh, Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. I do I have that on I've had that on vinyl since it came out, and uh, it's pretty collectible nowadays, but I wanted to have it on CD as well. Uh, Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge. Rolling Stones I didn't have. Aaliyah's One in a Million. Uh, they might be giant. Miscellaneous T. Got Steppenwolf, 16 Greatest Hits. Uh, Frank Zappa, Strictly Commercial. We got The Beatles, Yellow Submarine. Uh, we got Soho Goddess. Uh, complete blind buy on this one, but looked looked like it might be kind of psyche uh, rock kind of stuff. Wanted to check that one out. And last but not least, uh, Jim Morrison and the Doors, An American Prayer. So that does it for my July CD finds. Hope you enjoyed what I showed. Leave me some comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe so you can be kept up to date with future episodes. Have a great day, great night. Enjoy some great music, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.